Libras come out to play a hey my Libras what's good fam bam I'm getting this last card hold on bam oh wait look at that mm, I'm scared of you guys Libra if you clicked on that thumbnail, you know where you reached, Libra. You better stop playing. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame, and I am O Marvelous One herself, Marvelous Madame in the flesh. Welcome back to the Marvelous Show. Hey, Libras. Hey, guys. This is going to be your top of the month love reading for the time frame of the 1st through the 15th, of course, for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ow, hey guys, what's going on? How has this eclipse been treating my Libras? Let me know. Let me know. You know how to get up with your girl. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi guys, hi my newbies, what's going on? If you are returning, hello, hello, hello. If you are subscribed to my tribe, ow, I got a sound effect for all of y'all. But overall, thank you all for your viewership. And allowing me to deliver this good word to you. Okay? Bone K. All right. Now, this is the part of the show, guys, where I ask you if you care to skip this marvelous intro. The reading will start at such and such time, which will be listed in the description box below. Okay? Again, this is that part of the show where I, I ask you if you want to skip the intro. The reading will start at the time stamp down below. Okay? For the rest of you guys who know how I get down, let's riggedy rock, okay? As you know, I start all my videos out with gratitude, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all from the moon and back. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for sharing the content and subscribing to my marvelous tribe, okay? You already know I love you guys. I also thank each and every one of you guys for your viewership, okay, of my content. I sincerely appreciate it. For those who have booked me, booked me for your personal readings, thank you for putting me in your business, Al, and let's continue to do business. I said it. <laughs> All right. Now, as you know, you can go ahead and book a personal reading with me. Hold on. Okay, there we go. All right. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> you can book your personal readings with me, Libras, on YouTube, Facebook, IG, Twitter, and Pinterest. The scheduling link will no longer be available in the description box. For those of you who have booked that way, I'm sorry. I got sick and tired of trying to manage that. Um, manage the link. OK, it was uh, causing me some problems. OK, you already on Facebook. Twitter, IG, Pinterest for some of us that are pinheads and YouTube anyway. So if you want to book me for your personal readings, you can go ahead and do so that way. OK, that scheduler link will no longer be available in the description. All right. Enough of that. Let's go ahead and get into the astrology so we can get these cards popped off. All right. So as you know, right now, Libra, the following planets are retrograde, Mars, Mercury, Saturn, Neptune, Pluto and Chiron. OK. If you want to know what I'm talking about with Chiron, if you want to know whether you're experiencing a Chiron transit, go ahead and watch Libra. How does Bay feel about you for August? That's already available. I did not link it because everybody don't want to know about Chiron. So if you do go watch your video and listen to the intro and I talk about it a little bit. If not, you can always Google it. Okay. Let's get into what you can expect for the month of August, your August snippet. OK, the August snippet, astrology snippet. I said it. OK. <laughs> First and foremost, Venus is going to move into Libra. OK, on August the 6th, which is going to be yummy, yummy, yummy for some of us. OK, and that's you. So you Libra could be feeling real good, tasting good, smelling good. I said it. Mm hmm. I ain't in your business, though. Ow. OK. Nasty self. All right. So the Lionsgate portal is going to be opening up on August the 8th. This portal is going to be bringing forth new energy, which will further help you purge things that no longer serve you. That does not even begin to tap the surface or scratch the surface of what this portal will do for you. 
Go and Google it if you care to. It is a very powerful energy. In addition to that, we have the super moon slash partial solar eclipse and the sign of Leo on August 11th. It's also a new moon. OK, set those intentions. Please, please tap into the energy of this moon. OK, this is going to be the last eclipse that we have until January of 2019. So make sure that you take advantage of it, because what we do now is going to affect us for the next six months. OK, and that basically is around the time of the next eclipse at the top of the year. All right. Now. Mercury is going to go direct finally on August the 19th. Yay. All right. So our communication is going to be com uh, improving for some of us. And we're going to be operating in our element from a communicative level, which is always good. All right. Next, the sun is going to be moving into the sign of Virgo on August 23rd. Ow. Happy birthday, Virgos. Please be on the lookout for your birthday bonus reading. You know, every zodiac sign gets one every month. Okay. Now, the yummy part. So there's going to be a full moon in Pisces on August the 26th. OK, so which this can bring forth any residual in, uh, feelings from the previous month's eclipses, which now need to be either ended, acknowledged or adjusted. So do those full moon releasing rituals. Now, what I've done for you as a bonus, if you care to, I've linked the full moon and Capricorns uh, video in the description with the timestamp, because at the end of that video, I talk about releasing. OK, um, so that 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 is there with the timestamp in parentheses. So, you know where to go. All right. Do the full moon releasing ritual, guys. Please take advantage of again, like I told you, with the new moon, that's a partial solar eclipse. Tap into this energy because this is going to be helpful to us. OK, last and certainly not least, uh, Mars is going to go direct on August 27, which is a damn good thing, because, again, we have been walking around like the walking dead. And Lord knows it has affected all of us different ways. However, I can tell you right now that I know for a fact that we want our willpower back and our strength back because all we are doing is walking around like zombies. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get into these cards and how I do things again. Libra, this is going to be your top of the month love reading for sun, moon, rising and Venus Libra. OK, this is going to be a six card reading. <clears throat> Two cards represent the most recent past and present. The what just happened or the what's happening now. Two cards represent the heart of the matter or the bottom of things. OK, or what lies beneath. Two cards represent the overall outcome as well as I'm going to be blending the bottom of the deck energy for a more solidified message. That deck is the Illuminated Tarot. OK, in addition to that, we will be pulling one card, which will represent the overall love theme represented by the R.A.O.D., the Romance Age of Oracle deck, as well as infusing the bottom of that deck's energy as well. Note the bottom of the deck energy for that R.O.A.D. will not be photographed. Let's rock. Uh oh, if you hear me in the background, that's my laptop. All right. So Libra, your card, which is going to represent the theme for the top of the month love for you is going to be heart to heart conversations. OK, heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Libra, you're being called to have this conversation. And we judging by your energy, I certainly see that there's going to be some conversation that's going to be had. That is for damn show, Libra. All right. So spirit is calling for you to uh, get these feelings out. This eclipse is going to do just that. You have a lot of strong energy that's going to be propelling you forward um, and giving you the courage <clears throat> that's necessary for you to move forward in your truth and reveal your truth and stand in your truth. OK, you need to get ugly, Libra. This is beautiful energy. Now, in addition to that, the bottom of the deck Okay, for this R R O A D the Romance Angel Oracle deck is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So that is spirit telling you you're going to have this heart to heart conversation. You're going to find the strength, the courage necessary to move forward, stand in your truth, bring forth your truth, stand in your truth, have the courage to express your truth. That's what this theme is about. Good, bad or indifferent. You're being urged to stand in your truth. OK, you got a lot of queen Ooh, energy here, baby. 
You, um, Libra, have the energy of all three of the queens. The only queen energy that you are missing is the queen of spades. You got every single queen in this particular deck. Hearts, diamonds, and <clears throat> clubs. OMG. If this ain't you balancing the scales, I don't know what the hell is going on. You have the queen of hearts. You have the queen of clubs. You have the queen of diamonds. That's your energy of your heart. That's the energy of you putting things into action and you going to get your financial abundance and get what you need. You better talk about it. Talk about it. Bottom of the deck energy is the queen of hearts. Queen of hearts in this particular deck. Not only is she a... A uh, person who is very nurturing, okay, the mother, the wife, pregnancy, you know, something that is new as far as a birth, possibly. This is also the first major arcana Libra, which is the temperance, I'm sorry, the empress. Ooh, way. Nurturing, marriage, motherhood. Ooh. We Libra. Mm, mm, mm. Well, not only not only is this beautiful queen a kind, thoughtful, sensitive woman with a caring nature, baby. She is also the empress. She is the wife. She is the mother. She's marriage material. She is the empress. So energy can go both ways. Let's go ahead and pop these zodiac signs off before we get any further. Um, 9 11 Libra, go ahead. That's an angel number. Haven't really been pulling them that much with this energy that we've had lately, but go ahead and Google 9 11 as an angel number and slather that message right on top of this baby. That let me know right there that this was definitely divinely guided as I looked over and looked at the time. Ow, get ugly. Now, Queen of Hearts. Beautiful. And we know that the Queen of Hearts doesn't necessarily express what she thinks. Or express what she's feeling all the time. She's, she tends to keep that close to her. The good news is, is that, oh, <clears throat> there is very, very um, action-oriented, action-oriented energy right here. That's going to propel you, as I stated at the top of this, through and standing in your truth and expressing it. Um, that's the reason why spirit is telling you to express your love. Because they know that when you embody this queen, although it's a beautiful thing, there can be some things that you sell yourself short on. OK, now let's talk about these zodiac signs. We already know that this queen hearts represent the element or the suit of cups. Cups represent the element of water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra. You can have in your chart, you could be connecting with or surrounded around this energy. Energies can go back and forth. I'm going to say it one more time because I'm not going to say it after every single card. You could be connecting with. You can have in your chart or you could be surrounded around this energy. Overall, it's all energy. But when I say energy, the energy of the zodiac sign, whatever is good or bad about the zodiac signs energy, you can be surrounded around it or. And that's just what it is. This is eclipse energy. If you got if your energy your zodiac sign, for those who resonates and rocks with this, pull this energy, then this is what the energy surrounded around you is going to be because this is what spirit popped out for you. This is what spirit wants me to deliver. OK, now. Let's start from the top. Let's talk about the clubs. Clubs is uh, is the equivalent of a suit of wands. Wands represent the element of fire. That's going to be your Leo, your Aries and your Sagittarius. So you have one. You have two, two clubs. So again, you could be connecting with those signs. We've already talked about water. You only have one of those. Let's go ahead and talk about the spade. Spade is going to be that air element because it is the equivalent of the suit of swords. So that's going to be uh, Libra, your element, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. OK, um, and we have one. We have two. That's definitely what you're going through. You have two of those. So it looks like you're balancing everything out here. So you have a, a clear balance. And then we have diamonds. Diamonds is going to be the equivalent of a suit of pinnacle. Pinnacle represent the element of earth. That's going to be your Virgo, your Capricorn and your Tauruses. OK, and you definitely have two of those. 
one and two, one and two, one and two and one. So basically you're going to be balancing. You have, so who, somebody else had this, had this type of reading. I think it was Sagittarius, but uh, Libra, you have everything but the damn scales. You have everything but your card because you have a good combination of all of the zodiacs, which lets me know that you're going to be balancing all of your elements and the bottom of the deck energetically, you're feeling like this empress or this queen of hearts. That is a very high ranking tarot card as far as how I'm feeling as far as being comfortable with you being balanced. So I think that's a good, a, a, a good amount of, um, of heart, a good amount of love. Okay. Yes, there are cards that mean other things, but this is the, I'm okay with this. So I feel like you are balancing the scales regardless because this queen, this empress is it, and with, with that she's being urged or you're being urged to tap into that energy. If you're a female, get your queen on. If you're a male, get them feelings talked about, have that heart to heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with your boo express your love and go ahead and make the romantic gesture that you see um, that make the romantic gesture. OK, and these energies are linked. This isn't two different things. This isn't the tale of two spreads like with Sage. This is all one message. Let's rock. So first and foremost, you're fan, you're feeling quite energetic. You've been feeling and enthusiastic about the start of something new with this jack of, of spades. OK, so. Mentally, you are overcoming anything that has been keeping you stagnant from a mental perspective, Libra, operating in the air element, trying to figure out how you can balance the scales and deliver the message or move forward in an action oriented type of manner in this relationship. You have definitely been stagnant. This is showing and the reason why I know is because spirit is telling you that you need to say what you have to say. And this is you in your head worrying about how to deliver that message. You're enthusiastic about it. You're loving on this person. I mean, let's pull this, uh, this additional card. When I talk about um, what these people are, let's talk about what they represent. You are the queen of hearts. You're in love with this person and this person loves you. OK, Libra. All right. So then you're embodying this queen, too. I mean, your queen is on. You getting your queen on this month. Get ugly. Libra next to the sun card. OK, so you're enthusiastic about <clears throat> Jesus. I'm sorry. You are enthusiastic about a new. Path, put it like that. OK. You are happy about this new path. The sun is the happiest card in the tarot. The sun is here. Happiness, success, good health, happy marriage, so forth and so on, represented by the seven of diamonds. Okay. Let's talk about that. So the blended meaning is going to be the major arcana of the sun. So this is the second one because the queen of hearts represents the empress. The seven of diamonds represents the sun. OK, so if we take it one step further. This is good financial news, good news. But this also shows that your work and patience is going to be rewarded. OK. You are going to manifest the relationship that you want. Because you are going to have this conversation and express your love. How do I know that, Libra? Well, we have the judgment. In the heart of the matter, we have the judgment and we also have the death card. Death upon thoughts, ideas, patterns that no longer serve you. Okay? With a renewal and reward for past efforts. Your karma, you are karmically being rewarded. What did I just say? I said that work and patience is being rewarded with this damn seven of diamonds, which is also the sun card success. But also we have a major transformation in your heart, which makes sense. You could have your in the seventh house. Okay. 
You got Uranus somewhere in your heart because you got the death card in the heart. This is going to be a transformation of those relationships that have an emotional pull on you on the romantic level. The judgment card is a renewal or revival reward for past efforts. What did I just say? I can't make this shit up, Libra. You are being rewarded for the work that you put in. You are going to see a return investment on the hurt, the pain, the agony that you put yourself through. You are going to embody this empress and say what you have to say and throw caution to the wind. But love exists here. Love exists. And you are going to stand in your truth, deliver that truth and be the truth. Ow. And say what you got to say. Goddamn. Ooh, Jesus Christ. I can't. Okay. You are welcoming the transformation and shedding of your skin like a snake now, seeking to release your spirit and being reborn, detaching yourself from the ties that bind others. OK. That is what is going on. We. OK. The star is Focusing on optimism. You believe that you can achieve your heart's desires and you do. Okay. Oh my God. I can't. I just can't. This is beautiful. How do we end? We end with these queens. First and foremost, we got the queen of, of clubs. The queen of clubs and the blend, the blended meaning is confidence and strength. That's exactly what you're going to be exuding. You're going to be dripping it. Drip, drip. You're going to be dripping this. OK, go get your boo, Libra. Get your boo. Fellas, go get your boo. Ladies, you better get your boo. The star card is hope, healing and optimism. The star. I said, did I say the sun? Guys, I did say the sun. Well, shit, they look alike. <laughs> the seven of diamonds is the star, guys. I apologize, but it still is the same connotation. Hope, healing and optimism. Better times ahead. OK, I apologize. Same thing applies, though. Same thing applies. OK. Hope, healing, and optimism. All right? We're going to be ending with these queens. The queen of clubs. Confidence and strength. The queen of diamonds. Ooh, we. You are embodying this. Okay? You are bodying this. Okay? That's what you're doing. Body in these queens. OK, you're standing in. Your power. You're going to approach this love situation from a practical and capable level. OK, you're going to approach this situation warm. And cheerful kind, thoughtful, sensitive, and caring. All of that with an optimism that cannot be beat, an unmatched optimism, a hope, healing, and very optimistic approach to the future. Things that have discouraged you are no longer going to exist. You are going to get the mental clarity that you need and you are going to move forward and express your love. And there is strong love here. OK, someone is either looking at you or the, as their empress and they are in love with you or vice versa. There is happiness here, although I went on that rant about the sun, the damn sun and the star card looks alike in this deck. But the, the same thing applies because. Those can be interchangeable, but this is the seven of diamonds. I pulled that out for you. 
I let you know that that's work and patience that's rewarded. Okay. And that is the star card, which is hope, healing, healing, optimism, and better times ahead. The same damn thing. That's why I said the message goes, it's interchangeable because the star card and the sun card on the outside looking in could mean different things, but overall it's just going to, it's just, it just is going to mean that it signifies the happiness and you're going to get the, the, the hope, healing and optimism and the happiness that you deserve. It is, just, it's the same thing. Okay. I hope that didn't um, confuse you guys. And Libra, mm -mm, that has been your reading. It's always a pleasure. As you guys know, you are my rising. All right. And I'm, it's always a pleasure to read for you guys because um, this triple queen energy is not going to be. I mean, it's, it's unmatched. You got the, every, damn near every queen. Your energy is pulling that. You are dripping queen, babies. Okay? Fellas, the energy can go back and forth. Don't get intimidated because I said queen. There's no funny business going on. That means that you're getting your confidence up and you're dripping that, that swag. You're, you're dripping that practical. I broke them down. Don't get me started because I'll keep you on the line. Okay? So Libra, that has been your um, your read and I certainly hope it resonated. Go ahead and like the content, share it with a Libra in your life. OK, let me know how it was rocking, rocking with you. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't let it skate, let me know how you are feeling about it. OK, this was beautiful energy. I'm loving that you guys got such a positive reading. Lord knows we need some positivity. Tap into this moon energy and go ahead and get what you deserve from this energy. Okay. Let me know how the eclipse has been treating you in the comments. If you want to, I'll see you here in about a week when we're going to go ahead and tap into your mid month love energy. And we'll talk about how the solar, this partial solar eclipse and Leo treated you. Okay. Bye Libras.